Welcome to another Adventures with the Cons, and on this adventure, we're heading to Greenbrier Campground in Gallenberg, Tennessee. Yay! <laughs> we are so excited to go camping in Tennessee. It's our first time camping in Tennessee. The girls' first time in Tennessee. We love this area. This is where we had our honeymoon almost ten, almost 12 years ago. <laughs> and then we came here for our 10 year anniversary um, a couple years ago. So we thought we'd bring the girls back, do some hiking um, and camp and just explore this area as a family. So let's see what Greenbrier Campground is all about. <laughs> So today we want to showcase the grounds of Greenbrier Campground and share with all the amenities and the campsites that are here. So let's take a look. So they have a lot of amenities for the girls to be playing with. Right now they've got a church where they're doing, during the week they come through taking care of the kids. And right now they're playing what game are they playing? Gaga Ball. It's some sort of... Gaga Ball. It's a game. They know what it is. We, us old people, don't know what it is, I guess. Maybe like our four square back in the day. <laughs> like that's their four square. That's Gaga Ball. <laughs> and they've got swings. They've got a blow up that they can slide down. They've got volleyball, basketball. There's a lot of amenities that this campground has. And you can come and go as you want, but it's nice. You can just drop them off and they do all these games and crafts with them. So it's nice to kind of have some time maybe to clean up the campground or whatever. Like get ready for a hike or whatever you're planning on doing during the day. Oh, and here's the trolley. And then we have a trolley coming up that can take people from here all the way down to Gatlinburg area. And Gatlinburg. Now, the thing with the trolley is you just have to make sure you're on it before 7 o'clock because you may not get back to your campground if you don't. But they have the times posted, so yeah, every three yeah. hours, I think they come pick up people. And there's a little pavilion, uh, they've got a little pool table on or, or at that you can play pool. But we think that you might need to get the balls and the sticks from the clubhouse. And then these are some RV sites. And then the tent sites are in the middle of the campground. We've got grass around them, but then there's, I think it's 16 by 16 slabs that you need to keep your tents on. Standard. There's eight sites here. We're at 108 and we love it. We have the end. They've got some cabins that you can rent along with the sites and the RV sites. We should show them our site. How much space we have, I feel like. So here's 108. <laughs> so this is our tent. Y'all have seen it in the past. Mm -hmm. It is called the Ozark Trail 11 person tent. This is the front. And we did something new this year is we got the Ozark Trail screen house so that we could put it around our picnic table so that we can do our food because we got an electric campground. Yeah. Um, 
it's been really nice. Um, you know, I just feel like this is our kitchen. <laughs> kind of keeps the bugs away a little and, you know, a little bit of privacy, I guess. Um, and we got these lights too at night, these rope lights. So getting a little bit fancy as we go. <laughs> yeah, we got these at Costco. So if you ever need rope light, you can get them at Costco. And then we got one inside the tent as well at night. Yeah. So we kind of lit that up so that everybody can see at night what they're trying to do as they're getting ready for bed. <laughs> and so what's nice about this campground is it's, it, it, it flows along the P P Little Pigeon River. I think that's what they call it. Could be wrong, but we're going to show you they've got a little water hole, I guess they call it, but it's kind of like a swimming area. I think you can rent tubes at the camp store. I would tube at your own risk, though. Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, is that what it says? <laughs> but also, it's nice, at uh, Site 108, you can kind of hear, if there's not a lot of activity going on, you can hear the river. So, um, if you want that as you sleep, you know, maybe Site 108 if you're a tent camper would be a good site to choose. So you can kind of hear it as we get closer. There's a cabin right there. There's one of the cabins right there. I guess it's number 28. We have a few cabins. Mostly RVs and then about like eight tents that we've seen. Some other people have so here's the swimming hole. Obviously, I don't think they want you swimming over there. We're going to bring the girls up here later this afternoon because it's a hot one today. And they can play in the little shallow area here. And as you can see, the river is flowing this way into the swimming area. And then there's like a nice little boulder in the middle where people can jump off into the river. Ooh, that's a good idea. Maybe we can put our chairs over there. Right there. That's nice. Yeah, we've seen people bring so now we're going to the other side of the campground where the other RVs and cabins are. So it's like a loop around where we got RVs and tent and RVs and camp cabins on the side and then the tents are in the middle. But what's nice about the center is that there's this long grassy area where people can play. They've got people have already added their little goalies where they could be playing their games. Um, you could pretty much do anything like bring your own game so that you can play. And then there's another cabin that you can stay. I'm almost wondering if it's planting instead of camping, <laughs> but we don't know since we didn't purchase the cabin. I just see glamping tents uh, further down. I don't know if it's part of Greenbrier or something else. So this is the front side of our site. Well, I don't know if it's the front side or the back side. We made it the front. <laughs> But it, I definitely like the size, the distance between each campsite. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice little walk.
to the showers and the bath and we're gonna show you I guess inside what it looks like yeah as a woman I always like to know what the bathroom looks like before I go camping so I'm gonna take a quick peek they're very clean very impressed super clear there's just um four individual rooms on each side I'll just show you some of the shower. There's a the shower. So you get your individual bathroom and shower. So now we're heading out. And then they also have on the other side two like no, I'm showing you that thing, so you don't have to take a shower. You can come over here. And what's nice about the bathrooms is they have in use or vacant so that you know when they're available. Mm -hmm. But y'all don't care about the bathrooms. Let's go see if there's some fun <laughs> fun rooms that we can go into instead of the bathrooms. <laughs> You always want a little bit of fun while you come on a campground, don't you? Let us know in the comment section below if you'd like to know when there's some fun things to do at a campground. And also, this campground is pet friendly, so if you have dogs, they're more than welcome to be here. It's definitely a nice campground to allow that. So up here, yeah, there's a gamer and laundry area. Good morning, how are you? Good hey, afternoon, I know. Yeah. There's some laundry. So there's the laundry room. There's the game room. And then there's another bathroom. And then this, this bathroom and then there's one on the other side, but they're like handicapped accessible so they're they're big yeah. oh it's vacant we're gonna check this one out too we I have, think this we one, have not used this one this one's huge this one might be handicapped but yeah. look, look at the bathroom the shower look at the floor i uh, thought we said we, we were not gonna show our bathrooms this is the fun stuff <laughs> <laughs> we were just so impressed but um oh there's a church service too on Sundays, very short. It was like 40 minutes, but um, if that's something you're interested in, they do that here. So we enjoyed that. Now we're going to show you something really nice. As it's on the opposite side of the campground. Might even get lost getting to it. We just stumbled on it. Didn't hmm. Isn't it this one? I think it's. I think it's further down. Oh no! We have to swim at our own risk. I think this is another swimming area. But I think this one's a little bit more dangerous than the last one we yeah. showed you. Yeah, we're not taking our kids to this one. See, this caution, river water may rise without notice. And maybe we can like walk down here with the girls and explore, but we're not swimming in here. <laughs> wait, where'd the water go? Water's gone. Oh wait, we're not there yet. <laughs> Oh, look at this. I mean, even if you just want to bring a chair over here and sit, it's nice and peaceful. Oh, I think so this is another swimming area, but what's really nice is right over there. I always like to see the water rushing against the rocks. And then what happens is this water flows all the way around to the other site where we, we showed you 
where the girls are going to probably swim later. But if I'm not mistaken, it's cold water. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I think this is like a little mini pavilion that you can bring chairs and stuff to to sit on. But I don't know, I'd be careful since there's missing boards. <laughs> Do it at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have it, Greenbrier Campground in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. What a great campground to come to. If you're ever in the Gatlinburg, Tennessee area, definitely come by. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button. But while you're at it, hit the notification bell for when we upload a new video, you get notified. Thanks for stopping by and we look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.